do that. You have to go into Ling Bane. And yeah. so I expect some very explosive uh, explosive stuff on this map, especially with all the paths. But we'll talk about that in a moment. Indeed. Uh, so we're just going to introduce our players. Spawning up in the top left of Apotheosis. Currently up 1-0, representing Psystorm. Give it up for the Blue Zerg. True! Ooh. No bias, but I'm actually wearing my Psystorm shirt today. <laughs> oh, damn. Hot damn. Hot damn, indeed. In the bottom right corner, that red hot. Representing Root, he is from Mexico. It is Jim Rising. Give it up. Viva Root Mexico. Root. And uh, we do have an interesting build from True right off the bat. He went up to a 14 supply to build his uh, Overlord instead of 13. Not sure, uh, maybe just a little bit of a mistake or possibly a build order preference. But uh, he is going to be going for the expansion at the natural as opposed to the gold. They both are actually. Oh, okay. I'm a little bit surprised by that. Maybe yeah. Sometimes usually, usually one it. player does something or an early pool, but they Neither. both are outside of safe. I mean, maybe that third base will be at the at the gold, but yeah, a lot of the times you will indeed see that. Perhaps they're just expecting one of the other players to pull off some kind of an early pool, and it does get a little bit awkward when you're trying to defend the gold base. But if you do hold it and you start mining from that gold, it's a lot easier at least to uh, match with the lings, but it does leave you a bit vulnerable to try to actually defend both your main and the gold base. So, yeah. mm, I don't know, that is, they just um, decide not to. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, weird though, for sure. Definitely an, um, an unlikely scenario where both of them do this. Uh, interesting choice though, they did, well, not really interesting, very standard. They did both go hatch gas pool this game, so no, mm -hmm. no banely nest before speed, uh, defensive, no pure. Well, I mean, you, they still theoretically could go speedling straight into Roach, but this would be probably yeah. the worst map you could do it on. To do it, yeah, <laughs> unless you're super sneaky and you hit with some awkward delayed timing where it's like, okay, well, I guess I'm gonna drone now because nothing's coming. But no, in ZVZ, it's kind of hard to get away with that, and this map is so skinny that. Just a few overlords in the middle of the map spread out will allow you to at least get almost a full scout uh, of an attack coming. Well, so. because of the pathing though, it, it does get kind of awkward until you get into about the mid game. Uh, mm -hmm. It is it is really difficult to watch all of those paths because you have so many leaving your base. Oh, I like this from True leaving a Zerg. Actually, wow, look at that. True, As, as I say that, True's putting stuff to uh, cover all those. And he's Everyone, taking his yeah. base. So That's nice. really great. That's fantastic, actually. Hmm. That is, yeah, we were just talking about how it is a little bit more difficult right now at this stage of the game. But yeah, as the game does progress, it gets a little bit easier. But uh, True, looking like he does want to at least make sure that he will see anything coming from Jim Rising, whether it is a slightling run by, just to get some bailings morphed or something like that. But Jim Rising not doing the same. He's actually not going for his third yet. I guess maybe now he is. I see the drone there, but he invested in a few more drones before investing in the production. Which would yeah, be in he, the, hat, the form of the hatchery. He did, and it's put him very far ahead in drones. He's now 10 workers ahead of True. What? I True's been supply blocked, oh. and he's actually... He's badly supply blocked right now. Jim Rising is getting very far ahead. Yo, this is so good for Jim Rising, you know? Taking out that Overlord. Sure, he saw the third base, but losing that production cycle here and having to wait is going to allow Jim Rising to have that drone lead for so much longer, and... This is a, such a good thing to capitalize on, and let's see if he's able to, because it seems like... Oh, no, no, True's just going to be droning up after that, so I was going to wonder if True is going to attack. Yeah, it would have. It was an opportunity. Um, now, Jim Rising did settle down on his droning, so True able to catch up there a little bit. Uh, not really snowballing ahead, and because of the faster gold base, it's actually going to snowball back into True's favor for a little while, mm -hmm. uh, economically speaking, but... That was very bizarre. He was up about six drones. Nice. Does pick off a Zergling. Or sorry, a drone right there. Uh, and actually sees that there's no layer. And does he see the evolution chamber? Oh, I he did. He did. He did. Yes. Uh, so that's a pretty big thing. He might think it's plus one melee lings, but either way, um, he's doing the right thing, which is lots of roaches and uh, sticking at home defensively, I'd say. And yeah. going for burrow is true. Okay. What? What? Um, <laughs> I mean, I've seen True do some really cool things, but without a Roach Warren out and without even um, a Lair in order to get Tunneling Claws, 
I wonder just how creative he's gonna get with these lings. Or rather hashtag, with these burrow lings. Or banes. Hashtag or whatever creative. It is. Or, yeah, or... hashtag creative, man. I mean, even taking a fourth base, like, really, really quickly. He knows that he's gonna get a lot of income from that uh, other base here at the gold. So. Speaking of creative, we have uh, Jim Rising going up for Aspire himself. Uh, after and a this is... too. Yep. Yeah, this and, and after his opponent's seen the roaches, uh, True just scouted them with a Zergling. So he's... This is definitely not something you'd expect, but meanwhile we have True going up for uh, up to melee upgrades as well. Uh, and also adding on Lair and Roachhorn right now. Th this is such a crazy game. Apotheosis just, is the weirdest yeah. map. You know, and people might be looking at it and being like, well, like, what do you mean it's a crazy game? Not really much has happened at all, but it's just the way that they are approaching this game. I really don't know if they have some kind of history. I, I was going to say, it feels oh. like they're... Oh, wow, he sees that. It feels like they're practice partners, though. Like, just based Something. on this game. Yeah, this is the type of game you see where you're like, what the... Not a lot of it will make sense to, like, what's going on in the game itself. It almost feels like it has some kind of previous influence to it. You know Unless what? Unless you're just I, experimenting. I feel like Jim Rising has himself a pretty nice advantage right here. Uh, oh, yeah. With that Spire about to finish, he's going to be yeah. able to get eight Mutas out right away. Assuming he decides to build them. Uh, and oh. has Larva. That's important, actually. Uh, yeah, he only has four Larva. Oh, he just spent them. Okay. Uh, okay, there he goes. So this is actually one of those uh, times where you have to be so careful for the upgraded links. Because even if you get the Mutas out, unless you're going to heavily supply block true, um, it's going to be tough to deal with plus one links, right? Like, you have to know that it's coming. So yeah. many of them are going to be and they're, they're coming from so many Ooh. angles. But, oh, big Bane hit on one of the sets of links. The other set is repelled at the uh, third base. Meanwhile, the fourth does get killed. So that's... Well, it's hard to say, actually, who that was better for. I think... Hmm. I didn't honestly, see if he canceled it. I'd, I, yeah, I couldn't see if he canceled it either. But honestly, I think that's about even. Um, because he did commit a lot of links to that. But he didn't snowball with them. And now exactly. True has a ton of mutas on the other side of the map and actually gonna get quite a bit of drone damage done right here oh this is so big being able to use the mutas offensively instead of having to defend against the upgraded links oh the burrow's nice oh, though burrow, though oh but wow this actually makes a big difference though with the link fights meanwhile the fourth base uh denied again by true but wow this burrow play is actually really good against mutas the links yeah. are going to be running to the natural oh and they could get so much damage done right here these are heavily upgraded links this is what happens too, like you try to go mutas, you cannot be in all locations at once, you can't attack. Even if you're trying to just defend, it gets really difficult, so having to keep roaches inside of the mineral lines is going to be the best bet, I would assume. But even if they get surrounds on the small amounts of roaches, it can still get really, really hard. And suddenly he's down to 33 drones and is about to lose his third base. Wow. Oh, this is just, oh wow, true, target the hatchery. Oh. Target it. He's oh, and he's doing there it he, with the links, and now the roaches are going. And he does get it down, so that's going to be big. Meanwhile, links are continuing to flood in. Also, so Bane's more than a natural. Oh, oh, and they get even more drones. <laughs> oh this my god! So much damage. Forty-two workers have been killed this game by True. Takes out the hatchery with that gold base. Oh, that is such a big deal, uh, especially because Jim Rising is kind of broke. And, and just lost his fourth. He's now cut the economy in half. He is now doubling his opponent's economy, and still going to be another Ling run by coming into the natural. Oh, uh, this is brutal. Jim Rising does have a pretty... Oh, no, he's actually going to run out. Jim Rising does have a pretty big Roach Force, but there is something to meet it, and those are 1-1 one, one Lings. What? That's it be Roaches, actually, I think. Oh, Jim Rising does not have any upgrades on his Roaches here, so... Plus 1 Lings are going to do pretty well, especially yeah, with the Carapace upgrade. Bane Ling's actually going to be able to get a lot of AoE damage, and he's going to clean this up, and we see a GG! Wow. True takes a very bizarre 2-0, but that's, that's all that matters at the end.